today I'm gonna to show you a tutorial on how to make this book cover. It's kind of a pocket that you can put really any size book in. I'm using Circulo's Cotton Max Color in Candy, Lilac, White, and Peach. This is a light worsted. You could use worsted weight yarn as well. And then you're gonna need a 5.00 millimeter crochet hook, scissors, your yarn needle, and a button. We're gonna start with the daisy square. So get your white yarn or whatever color you're using and you're gonna start with a magic ring. And you're gonna chain three. Then you're gonna place 10 double crochet in that magic ring. Now pull that tight to close your circle and join with a slip stitch in that first double crochet that you made. Cut your yarn. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to our petals. So take your next color and you're gonna join it into the same stitch that you placed your slip stitch. Now chain two and in that same stitch you're gonna place two half double crochet. One, two, and then you're gonna place two half double crochet in each stitch around. So at the end, you wanna make sure that you have 20 half double crochet. And you're going to join with a slip stitch to the first half double crochet that you made. Chain three. In the same space, you're going to do a double crochet. And a, then a triple in that same space. In the next, you're going to do a triple. One, two, three. A double triple in that same space. And then another triple in that same space. So we're working on our petals, the shape of the petals. In the next stitch, you're gonna do a triple and a double. So triple, double in that same space. And then in the next stitch, you're gonna place a slip stitch. And that's one petal formed. So in the next stitch, you're gonna place a double crochet and a triple. And in the next stitch, a triple, a double triple, 
and a triple. And then the next stitch is a triple and then a double and then a slip stitch. Okay, so we have two petals. We're making a total of five. So just repeat that around. So it's a double crochet and a triple. So double, triple in that first stitch. And then it's triple, double, triple, and a triple in that next stitch. And then a triple and then a double. And then a slip stitch. Just go ahead and finish the last two, the last two petals. Okay, so we've reached our last stitch. You're gonna do your last slip stitch. And then we're gonna join just to the first chain here in that beginning chain three. Now cut your yarn. And our flower part is complete. Okay, now we're gonna complete our square. So take your next color, I'm using peach and you're going to join it in any double triple around. So any of those double triples that you made at the point of each petal. And you're gonna chain one, single crochet in that same stitch. And in the next one, we're gonna do something that's called an extended single crochet. So you're gonna insert your hook into the stitch, pull up a loop. Normally we would yarn over and pull through both loops, but here we're gonna yarn over and pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. It just makes it a little longer of a stitch. Half double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet in the next. And then we're gonna do another extended stitch except this time it's an extended triple. So yarn over twice, just like you would for a triple, insert your hook into that next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through that first loop and then finish it off like normal. So two, two, two. Double crochet in the next stitch. Half double crochet in the next. Extended single, so insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first loop, yarn over, pull through the two remaining loops. And then a single crochet. So that's your sequence. So extended single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, extended triple. Then a double, half double, extended single, and a single. Just keep repeating that around. Extended single, half double, double, extended triple, double, 
half double extended single and then a single crochet at the top and you know you've got the right stitch count your single crochet will always be in that double triple in each petal around so go ahead and continue doing that sequence and I'll meet you at the end so once you've made your way all the way all the way around and with your extended single and you're going to join with a slip stitch in that first single crochet Now chain three, then you're going to do three extended doubles. So same as a double, except you're just going to yarn over and insert your hook into the stitch, pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through one loop, and then yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. You're going to do three of those. It's two. three okay chain one and then in that same stitch we're going to do three more of those extended doubles so one two and three and that's actually one of our corners double crochet into that next stitch double in the next stitch then half double crochet half double crochet single crochet half double half double double crochet double crochet And then we're going to make our next corner so same thing as before three extended doubles so just through that first loop and then two and then two chain one and then three more in that same space that same stitch And that is our next corner that's formed. Then it's a, it's two doubles. And then two half double crochets. Obviously one in each stitch. One single. Half double crochet half double crochet double crochet double crochet so you can see our square forming we have two more corners to make so repeat that sequence again so the three extended doubles one two, three, chain one, another three of the extended doubles, double crochet, double crochet, half double, half double, one single, half double, half double, double crochet, double crochet. So our last corner, Okay. 
and then double crochet, double crochet, half double, half double, one single, half double, half double, and then one double crochet, one double crochet. Join with a slip stitch to that first double crochet, actually that first extended double. All right, I'm gonna weave in your ends and you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna make a total of six of these. Okay, once you have all of your squares, you're gonna take two of them and you're gonna put them right sides together. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is just whip stitch along one side to join them. I do the whip stitch method because it's the easiest, but whatever method you like is fine. Now once you have two of them joined, we're going to do a border. So in any of these chain one spaces in the corner, that's where you're going to join your yarn. And we're essentially going to do a half double crochet border around the entire segment. So chain two, in that same chain space, you're going to place two half double crochet. And you're going to chain one and in that same space you're going to do three half double crochet so we're just forming our corner here then you're going to place a half double crochet in each stitch across until you get to that next corner that chain one space and that is pretty much it around the entire piece So once you get to that chain one space, you're gonna do three half double crochet, chain one, three half double crochet. And just continue repeating that around. You'll do a row of half double crochet, and then for the corners you do the three half double crochet, chain one, three half double crochet, and just continue to half double crochet across. This is what it will look like when you're done. I already did my other two segments. So you wanna do that exact thing for all of your squares. So finish that up and then I'll show you how to assemble. Now that you have all your borders done on your three segments, you're going to assemble. So take one piece and put it right sides together with another. And now you're going to whip stitch one long side together. So go ahead and do that. Okay, I just finished whip stitching these pieces together. So now I'm going to take our other piece and I'm going to place right sides together on one. And what you're gonna do is whip stitch now around this entire thing. So these sides and then along the bottom. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Okay, so once you've whip stitched these sides and the bottom, you can turn it right side out. So you've made a little pocket here. So all that we have left is to make our little loop for our button. So you're gonna join your yarn. Obviously you wanna be in the middle. So I'm gonna join my yarn right here.
and I'm just gonna make a chain of four. One, two, three, four. Then I'm gonna skip two and just place a little slip stitch right there. So a simple little loop. All right, so we've attached our button. And you can just slide in your book. It'll fit multiple sizes. And there you go.